This is an exam question from 1997, I think it's January 1997. Uh, it's a binary search algorithm, hopefully you can read what this says, but it's, it, if you can't it says, locate the name Li Nigel in the following list. Now looking at it, Nigel's not there, so we know the answer's going to be that Nigel isn't there. Now there's 10 numbers in the list, binary search works by choosing the middle number. Now the middle number of 10 will be the 6th number. In this course, we, if there's 2 numbers in the middle, always choose the 2nd of the 2. So we look at the sixth number in the list, that's Nikki. Now Nikki is, um, we compare Nikki with Nigel, Nikki is before Nigel in the alphabet. So we conclude that Nigel cannot be any of these. Okay, because Nikki's before Nigel. So we're down to four now. That's seven, Preeti. Eight, Steve. 9 Trevor, as long as it's clear what these are, we can't go wrong with this, and 10 Verity, as long as it's clear what, what our short shorthand way of writing these is, then we can't go wrong, we're not going to get penalised for not writing out the whole word. Choose the one in the middle, that's 9 Trevor, Nigel is before Trevor in the alphabet, so we've lost 2 by doing that, so we're down to just 2 numbers, 7 Preeti, and 8 Steve. Choose the second in the list, that's Steve. Preeti is before, uh, sorry, Nigel is before Steve, so get rid of Steve. We're down to one now. Preeti, look at that one. Nigel is not there, we're down to just one and it's not Nigel, so our conclusion is that Nigel is not in the list, and I'd write that there if only I could, you know, I can't write with this mouse very easily, but I'd write now. Conclusion Nigel is not in the list. Now this should be a bit neater, and maybe I'd write here, choose the middle value, uh, Nicky, Nigel is before Nicky in the alphabet, Nigel is after Nicky in the alphabet, so discard all those before, and, and so on, just as I've been talking through really. But that's worth four marks.